What's up guys? Out with the old, in with the new. Boy, am I glad that Ultra League is done and we have Great League back. In fact, we have a brand new meta in Great League with Retro Cup. We got Fairy Steel Dark Types all banned, uh, creating a nice new meta uh, for a week, I guess. Um, first of all, shout out to my Patreon supporters. Could not be doing this without you guys. And let's get right into this video while I talk a little bit about the team. So... You're going to see that this team is Shadow Dragonite, Lickitung, and Regirock, and the first thing that's come, going to come to mind is I don't have all of these Pokemon, and that's going to be a very common thought here. Um, I would love to make accessible teams. The problem is, I just walked this Lickitung for four weeks. I'm not going to not use it in Retro Cup, where it is the number one ranked Pokemon in PvP Pokey. So let's talk a little bit about what Pokemon you can use instead if you don't have any of these three Pokemon. So please don't leave me comments on this. I will know for sure that you did not watch this video at all. Uh, Shadow Dragonite, probably the easiest one to replace. You've got Altaria, just a bit bulkier. You can't power through as many things, but you can tank way more moves and win a lot more neutral matchups. Lickitung, uh, well, pretty much any normal type with a ghost type fast move can work as a replacement here. You have the four Lickers, Lickitung, Licky Licky, Munchlax, Snorlax. I do like Snorlax here with the ability to superpower other Lickitung. Um, that's a little bit of an advantage or to threaten outrage on dragons. And then um, you have Zangoose as well, that can be a replacement. And you have Cast Form Normal, which is actually almost the same Pokemon as Lickitung, right? It's got Hex instead of Lick, but it's got the Power Whip clone. It's got the Body Slam clone. They're the it's it's the same Pokemon, just a little bit less tanky, which is a downside, of course. But if uh, if you want to run a similar team, that'll work. And then Reggie Rock, and Reggie Rock doesn't actually fit very well with this team, I would say. Other two Pokemon are built around quick fast, uh, quick charge moves and fast move pressure. Regirock doesn't have any of that. It's uh, it's just got charge move pressure, so it doesn't really fit with the team anyways. I feel like this could probably be replaced with something like Barbacol even, um, but I would prefer something like Crustle or a Lolan Golem instead. Uh, so now that we've got into it, um, this team has kind of two safe switches. You can safe switch Lickitung or Regirock. In this video, I probably safe switch Lickitung a lot more, but Regirock I think is actually the better safe switch in this scenario. Just because oftentimes the Regirock is going to get left with the opponent with two shields up and unable to do anything. You're going to see in some of these losses here that I uh, should have played them a lot better. Um, but let's take a look into this video. So we had a Shadow Obama Snow lead. Uh, obviously awful for Shadow Dragonite. We're going to switch out into Lickitung. Um, and they're going to chip first and then uh, go into Pelipper here. So I know they have two Weather Balls. I'm going to shield the first one because it could be a Hurricane at this point. Um, they're going to throw the second Weather Ball, and Lickitung is going to tank this like a boss. So, uh, and throw this uh, Body Slam. We're going to get the shield back. And we're actually going to be able to lick down this Pelipper. Uh, so we win shield advantage despite taking quite a bit of damage from this Obama Snow. Uh, sorry, switch advantage uh, with even shields. We don't need to spend extra shields. And now we have Ridge Rock versus Obama Snow. Uh, unfortunately, Energy Ball does a lot more damage than I thought. From Shadow Obama Snow. Really should have shielded that, but we're gonna live with one HP, able to get that stone edge off and race to the finish here. Um gonna need to get a dragon claw off on this Obama Snow. No, we're not. We're gonna be able to farm all the way down and just really hope that whatever's in the back we can take out with a 10 HP Dragonite. And guess what? This is why we want Draco Meter right here. First game of the video, I guess second game, we're gonna be able to Draco that Politoed right out of existence. So um Pretty good feeling right there, being able to farm down an Obama Snow with Dragonite and take out a uh, Politoed. But this team does actually perform pretty well with shields down, even though it doesn't look like it. It just has a, a bit of trouble getting shields down. So Altaria versus Dragonite, you need to switch out. Altaria just outbulks Dragonite, and um, you're going to take some heavy damage there. Uh, we have Lickitung into Altaria now. A lot of times when Lickitung gets swept in, people will have to chip it or they'll stay in. It's just incredibly tanky. And we're going to have some body slams come out. Uh, we're going to see exactly how this matchup plays within the one shield, I believe. As they decide to shield that one body slam. Um, and I decide to match shields here as I'm already at the move. Shield that sky attack. Made it to this next body slam. And then we're going to try and race to that final move. We're not going to quite get there. So Altaria did spend two shields though. Um, so now we have shield advantage, and this is a great opportunity for Regirock to come in and just get some energy. Regirock with shields down on the opposition and with 100 energy is maybe the most scary Pokemon in the game in this situation. So in comes Cast for Rainy. You'd think this is a counter to Regirock, and it is pretty good, but Stone Edge deals half its health. Second Stone Edge, gonna deal the other half. We're gonna be able to take out this uh, Cast for Rainy, no problem. 
And this is why you didn't switch. We well, didn't switch, right? So a lot of players would have switched in this scenario. If you can take out the Pokemon, just take it out, right? If you switch, uh, Lapras can farm down Shadow Dragonite, then it can throw super effective Surfs at Regirock, and we're not gonna win this game. But because we didn't switch, or because I didn't switch, I guess, um, we're gonna be able to just take down that Lapras, no problem, uh, with a big Focus Blast from the Regirock. Yeah, I think they were trying to force me to switch with the Rainy Casper, but uh, no dice. We have a Munchlax lead here. Um, this is a bit interesting. I go for the Dragon Claw, which is maybe not very smart because uh, we're both going to end up ha having to shield here. If they throw, we're going to CMP tie and I won't be able to catch a move. So I'm just trying to switch out uh, to my Lickitung, who's much tankier. I'll shield and then switch into my own Lickitung um, after they switch their Hypno. So Lickitung, very good against Hypno. Uh, almost every Hypno is going to be running Shadow Ball in retro. I don't know if that's correct. I think Psychic might be a better move, but because of all the Psychic types, they're going to be running Shadow Ball, and that means Lickitung is honestly extremely unfazed by Hypno. Look at this. Uh, going to tank very easily two punches and be able to Lick all the way down. So in even shields, Lickitung ends this matchup with like 70 energy. And farm up a little bit more, throw a couple body slams at this Munchlax, see if they decide to shield. They don't, I'll swap into Dragonite and snipe that Munchlax down, and they're going to come in with whatever, but uh, at this point I've got a body slam stored, a full HP Dragonite, and a Regirock. It's, it's really tough to find a Pokemon that beats the combination of all of that. I don't, I don't know if there is a Pokemon out there, even with two shields, that, that can uh, take out all three Pokemon. And right now we just have uh, Drifblim versus Regirock at the end. This is a pretty pretty easy matchup for Regirock. They're not even going to shield because they know the game is over at this point. And uh, these were the first games I played with this team. Definitely playing a little suboptimally in the first couple sets. Uh, sharpen up my play in the last couple. But, um, but it is what it is, right? It's a new team back in Great League. Uh, we have Shadow Machamp. We're going to swap out to Jellicent. I don't mind staying in here for a little bit and catch a move on Lickitung. Get that uh, jelly down to half health, then you don't even need to throw a charge move, right? So we'll catch an ice beam, which is what they would have thrown anyway. It's not really a catch at this point. I'm just trying to get as much energy on my Dragonite as possible. And as much energy on my Lickitung as possible with uh, as low HP coming out of this matchup as we can, because this Machamp is just going to farm down. Um, instead, they're going to come with a Politoed. They know I've got like two Body Slam stored, and that's going to be both of their shields essentially. So we're going to throw that Power Whip. We're going to throw this Body Slam. Essentially just remove this Politoed from the game with the extra energy we got from that Jellicent. And we're not going to let this Machamp farm down Lickitung at all. Two Shield Dragonite, that's not going to be able to do, uh, be any be phased at all by this Machamp. And we'd Regirock in the back too. Not that Regirock had any play. So we're going to kick off Retro actually with a 5-0. I would say, honestly, uh, a little bit of favorable team comps here. I, I lost a couple leads and I was able to play my way out of them. Um, but the, the team comps were very favorable to the overall structure of this team, in my opinion. This uh, this next set, we have a uh, much harder team comps. So Barbacle, I have no idea the counts for this Pokemon, but they swap out Dragonite, or sorry, Dragonair switch in. Um, beats Dragonite because it out bulks it, but we're going to come in with the Lickitung, and this is a very comfortable matchup too. So there's two ways the Dragonair player can play this. Throw Dragon Pulse, which hits quite hard, or they can just throw Aqua Tails. Aqua Tails is much preferable. It does way less damage, um, but either way, we're going to be able to lick down come out of this with essentially a charge move. And we'll see what they come in with. So Barbacle is quite scary here with a lot of farm against uh, this team. It runs Cross Chop and Rock Move. So both super effective against both Shadow Dragonite and Regirock. And they're going to swap into Altaria because they don't want to take another or a Body Slam on their very squishy Pokemon. Uh, so we're going to swap out into Regirock as well. That Body Slam damage actually is going to come in uh, very handy, right? because look, you just barely KO there with that stone edge. A little bit of extra damage is very useful. And then once again, rock does not resist rock. We do not need to go to focus blast against this barbacle. Look how much damage that does. Um, yeah, <laughs> you don't need the focus blast, especially with shadow dragonite in the back still. So we're gonna be able to take uh, the first game of this set as well. Barbacle, very interesting in this, I think. Um, it actually has some play. So Frost, lastly, this is awful. We're going to go into Regirock here. In hindsight, I really should have went to Lickitung because I did not know how bad the... or I thought the Lickitung Frost last matchup was better. It's not that great. But here we go. Regirock versus Vigoroth in the one shield. 
here's how you play it. If you get the bait off and you shield once, even if they bait, you can beat them in the one shield. So if they throw now, it's definitely a body slam, which you survive, by the way. And you still get to this focus blast in time. Um, I learned this matchup in Labyrinth. It plays out the same way every time. And if they want to, if they want to go two shields down, that's fine too. But in this case, they did not. And I'll win back switch advantage. Um, the issue here is that they have a Lickitung of their own. And uh, Lickitung is very hard for this team. I do need to put my Dragonite against it, which is a little bit of an issue, right? Because their Frostlass is still um, in the back. And Frostlass is also pretty tough for this team. Lickitung Frostlass uh, core actually gives it a little bit of trouble. So even though we did manage to win back switch, the overall team comp is, is not very favorable. And you're gonna see how uh, the Lickitung Frostlass matchup here goes in the one shield, right? So we're gonna take an Avalanche. Um, we're going to bait with the Body Slam. In hindsight, I probably would have just went for the Power Whip. Yeah. Because players just don't, I don't know. I've never had a Frostlass shield my Lickitung so far. So we're gonna go with the Power Whip next time. This time, just another Body Slam, but it's probably not gonna be enough. And this Frostlass is going to get to uh, its next move here. And take out the Lickitung and obviously my Dragonite. It's not quite healthy enough. We're able to take down the Frostlass, but remember they still have that Lickitung in the back. And it has a decent amount of health, so not even that close of a match. Um, but I severely underestimate the Lickitung Frostlass matchup there. I thought I was fine until I wasn't. So we're going to throw two Dragon Breaths and catch the Confusion Damage on Lickitung. This also makes uh, it so that the Hypno player reacted slowly enough that they throw another Confusion, meaning my Lickitung is six licks ahead in this Vigoroth matchup. Vigoroth is one of the harder counters to Lickitung, um, so you do have to watch out a bit for this, and it can translate its energy very well into Shadow Dragonite. This is probably the worst switch in for Lickitung. Um, at least it does have to throw its energy, but throwing one Body Slam does not mean that it's dry on energy at all. So we're going to come with Dragonite. I have no idea how much damage a Body Slam from Vigoroth does. We're going to find out. It's why no shields. First one, I think. So we can see. Yeah, and it does a lot of damage. We can't afford to be taking another one, that's for sure. And uh, Regirock is going to be forced to come in and lock on down. The problem is, like I said, I'm playing this wrong right from the start. They have two shields up still. I need to be getting shields down. I need to be trying to trade shields. So like in that, um, in the Lickitung Vigoroth scenario here, I probably should have shielded the Body Slam and thrown my own Body Slam. Or force them to throw another. Or just do anything to get these shields down uh, possible. And actually... Uh, in this game specifically, I probably should have safe swapped to Regirock. Safe swapping to Regirock is something I had not even considered at this point in, in the battles. Um, but it makes a lot of sense, uh, especially because... Well, I guess I did it last game too, but I was just starting to consider it. Um, I probably should have done it this game as well. Uh, it just has a much better matchup versus Vigoroth coming in. And... Uh, that way you get your charge move dependent Pokemon out of the way earlier. You can take shield advantage, something like that. We see a Regirock lead here. And I am going to switch out at the exact time because I know the counts for Regirock. It's 11 lock-ons. And we're going to catch that Stone Edge, which is very important to catch on Lickitung. If we don't catch it, then what's going to happen is they are going to hit us with a Focus Blast instead. And that's going to be way more deadly. In comes Wobbuffet. And... I'm not going to spoil what's in the back, but this might be the most annoying team I've ever played against in any league. Um, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say about this team. I don't even know what to say. Um, and I need to think of a lot to say because this is going to be a long, long game. Uh, so Wobbuffet, incredibly tanky Pokemon. Uh, I'm not sure if it's that great in retro, but I don't think this player or the Oddish cares. I think this is more of a, a meme-ish team than anything. I know this is going to be a return. We're going to shield it. Um, because it should deal some heavy damage despite Wobbuffet not really dealing any damage. Um, but in comes Chansey. So, oh boy. Great League Chansey, Great League Wobbuffet. This is, is this what XLs? Is this what XLs have done to Great League? Um, but anyways, we're going to go for this Draco Meteor. Nobody shields their Chansey, right? I probably should have done this in the first place and then swapped. Um, but yeah, we're going to get right out into that Regirock. And we're going to have some Regirock, Regirock action. I'm going to bait with Stone Edge, but really this is not a bait. I'm just trying to deal Stone Edge damage is what's happening here. Um, so we'll see what they do here. I don't shield and I'm going to live. So I believe in my Regirock. If you believe in your Pokemon, sometimes they live with one HP. Get that Stone Edge off. 
Um, the Lockons are going to take me down, and Dragonite's going to be able to take out Regirock. And then Chansey versus Dragonite. This is honestly, this is very stressful. I have no idea who wins this matchup. They throw the Psychic to try and get the defense debuff, but it's not going to work, and Dragonite's going to barely be able to take down that Chansey. Chansey honestly looks extremely strong in uh, Retro Cup. I don't have one built, but man, I, that's my first time ever playing against a Chansey. Is it tanky? Holy crap. Um, this game we're going to swap into Lickitung. I think this is the correct swap. And yep, we're going to have this Medicham come in. Lickitung, much better dealing with Medicham than Regirock. As you can see with this energy advantage, looks like I'm actually going to be able to win Switch or Shield. So this Medicham is finally going to throw a move. Most Medichams don't run Power Up Punch in Retro. And I'm going to be able to actually win Switchback versus Medicham Switch in. Uh, and this is kind of important. It's not that important. Um, if I'd been able to build up an energy advantage as well on the Dragonite and keep shields, that's fine too. But my goal here is to line this Regirock up and allow it to do something. Um, so in comes Marowak. I probably should have stayed for a little bit longer. But I'm just going to take the Shadow Bone. A little bit of a mistake because I don't even get the Dragon Claw off, which is a pretty big deal. And then now we fall into the same trap, right? They still have two shields up and I have a Regirock. So um, you might be able to guess how this one's gonna go. Even though Regirock is a pretty good counter to both Marowak and Altaria, it can't really deal with both with, with shields up. If shields were down, completely different story, but uh, they are not, they are not at all. And uh, once again, this is, uh, I would say this is a misplay on my part, uh, not trying to get shields down a little bit harder versus uh, versus their team. Or if I wasn't able to get shields down, then play around my Dragonite instead of my, my Regirock instead. So, unfortunate loss, but it is what it is. My opponent played very well. They recognize Regirock, can't really do much with shields up, and we're only gonna win two out of five uh, in this set. So that's, that's a little bit of adversity there. Um, everyone loses sets, right? So if you're if you're losing sets, don't feel bad. Everyone does it. Uh, we have another Altaria lead. Let's see if we can play this one a little bit better. Um, go right into that Lickitung. Oh, and I, I did take out a set here too. I did try Altaria as the lead. A uh, little bit different playstyle. I think I per I personally prefer the Shadow Dragonite playstyle. I like having that that Shadow hard hitting Pokemon in the lead. This reminds me of another familiar team, uh, Shadow. A normal type and then a rock type you know but um it is what it is lickitung versus lickitung mirror is also quite boring um but if we take a look at the ivs uh, you can see my lickitung is a little bit more excel than theirs there's just 1420 mine is a 1499 full excel lickitung and um i'm gonna start getting shields down so i've learned a little bit from previous games uh Normally I wouldn't shield, but we're gonna start getting these shields down. Unfortunately, they don't want to give a shield up. Instead, they give up switch instead. So we're just gonna go into Regirock here. Um, honestly, throwing that body slam was a big mistake. I didn't realize that Altaria had taken quite a bit of lick damage already. If I'd realized that I wouldn't have thrown the body slam, because I would not, I don't need that body slam anymore to uh, to deal that stone edge damage or to KO a stone edge here. So a little bit of a waste. And they're going to come back in with Lickitung to absorb the rest of my energy. Or not. They're going to actually throw a Body Slam here. I think, yeah. That's just a Body Slam. And I'll get to this Stone Edge before they're able to take me down. I probably should have switched here as well. So a, a little, a couple mistakes on my part. And then they come in with a Licky Licky. And Licky Licky versus Dragonite because they switched in first. They're going to get to that second move just before I am, um, and that's gonna be the difference maker here. So many little mistakes in this one game, actually. Uh, the other thing is my Lick Tongue is completely dry of energy. If it even had one Lick of an advantage, then it would probably be able to get to a second charge move. Or sorry, one charge move, which is all I would need here. Um, but because Licky Licky is squishier, it's gonna win CMP. And um, my switch timer wasn't quite up in time to catch that move. Otherwise, I probably would have also been able to win this game because it would have been a pressured catch. Uh, but a very long game, um, very poorly played by me, but 
I think I was uh, upset enough about this game. Time to time to shape up. Time to stop making some mistakes. Hero Shadow Dusk All. Oh, sorry, not Dusk All. Dusk Clops. This is honestly a really good Pokemon. Um, that's just three hexes, by the way, till its first move. I didn't know the counts to uh, Ice Punch because it also runs that. So I thought that might be an Ice Punch, but I think you need four hexes to an Ice Punch after I uh, looked it up later. But we're going to have that Dragonair switch in again. We saw how this played before, right? It's the same thing. This time they shielded though, right? So they shield once. Um, I'm not going to shield. We're going to take that Dragon Pulse like a anthropomorphic long-tongued man. And we're going to win this with 0 to 1 shield here, by the way. And in comes Dusclops. Unfortunately, they get quite a bit of farm off the Lickitung. But we're going to bring in this Regirock instead. Uh, we can't have this Dragonite taking these Shadow Punches anymore. Um, Regirock's going to have to take this damage. And they're going to come in with a Lolan Graveler. So, interesting choice. I'm going to go with the Focus Blast. I really should have went with the Stone Edge because I don't need to KO this Graveler. I just need to deal some damage to it. Um, if I go with the Double Stone Edge, this look how much damage that Dragon Claw does. Get that Dragon Claw through. Um, we're going to take the Rock Blast. And we're going to just go back into that Regirock. See, I only needed a Stone Edge in the first place, so a little misplay. Um, but I was ahead enough in energy that this is not too big of an issue. And then once again, we're just going to race this Dusclops to the finish here. I've got a Shield, but they've got a ton of energy. Um, but I don't think they have more than two Shadow Punches here. And a Shadow Punch shouldn't be enough to KO. It's a pretty weak move. Yeah, who was worried? Who was worried? Not me. I was a little worried. Um, but yeah, Regirock's going to be able to finish this one up with shields down. Yeah, starting to play this team a little bit better, starting to get the hang of it. Um, Lickitung is honestly a monster. Here we have Primeape. It's probably running Night Slash and Ice Punch. Uh, Dragonite, decent matchup versus this. They only go to 6, so I shield Ice Punch. Um, and then they come in with Frost Last, so this is... A little bit of an issue. Lickitung, not as good against Frostlass as you would like. I really should have gone into Regirock. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, considering they're locked in, Regirock has a very comfortable matchup versus Frostlass. Um, but because they let that power up through, I'm actually okay. I decide to no shield this. And we're going to try and uh, farm down with Regirock and kind of uh, make up for what happened there. So get some... Lock on energy, see what comes back in. Primeape does, obviously, and we're going to throw the Stone Edge to grab a shield. I believe we have banked energy on Dragonite, so we're going to switch in, throw a couple Dragon Breaths, try and get the next shield too. If we take out the Primeape, it's good too. Um, but they elect shields because they know they're going to be able to force my last shield here. And we'll see what comes in. It's Barbacle at the end. Um... This Pokemon spells trouble if you can get some energy, especially because my shields are down. But look how much damage that Dragon Claw does. Uh, they're going to throw right away. They can't afford that Dragon Claw. Ticking them down any more. Um, and we're going to have to lock on down this Barbacle before it gets to two Cross Chops. I'm trying to make a hands down joke here because it's got four hands. But I just I just can't do it. I can't figure it out. Um, but luckily, Regirock's able to lock on down this Barbacle. And we're going to Focus Blast this Primeape for a little bit of overkill. I think we killed that Primeape about four or five times over. Primeape, very interesting fighting type choice. Able to hit back the Ghosts so uh, with Night Slash and um, the Dragons with Ice Punch. So uh, pretty interesting Pokemon. Maybe I'll try and build a team around it as well. Most of the fighters, I think, are not great in retro. So once again, Dragonair Switching. Always a safe swap. Um, this time it's a shadow and this time they throw much before my body slam. So aqua tail for sure. Don't have to worry about seeing how much damage a, uh, dragon pulse does here. Let's throw this body slam. They're trying to get shields down. I want shields down too, but I like shields up on my side. Uh, we're going to tank this aqua tail as well. Like a tongue is going to be able to get another slam off here. Um, in this case, I don't even need switch. I would have been fine with taking down both of their shields just because that's what Rigid Rock wants. Um, but I'll take Shield and Switch as well. Uh, Marowak comes in, and this is the absolute dream scenario here. So I've already guaranteed Shadow Dragonite a pretty comfortable lead matchup. Now I've guaranteed uh, Rigid Rock a pretty comfortable matchup here too. I count wrong a little bit. They get to the move. 
I must have missed a fire spin. I'm trying to time my moves right before they they throw. Um, but in this case, I'm quite far ahead, so it shouldn't end up mattering too much. We're gonna go for the Stone Edge versus the Zoltaria. And then I'm gonna get really greedy and go for another Stone Edge when I really should just switch to my Dragonite and go for uh, the Dragon Breath down. But Regirock reaches that Stone Edge very fast. And um, yeah, all I would have needed to do is get to that Dragon Claw and Dragonite had plenty of health remaining. All right, we've got Altaria versus Dragonite yet again. Altaria, probably the most common lead I've seen today. Very strong, um, but uh, comes Venusaur. I like quite a bit. So the matchup Lickitung versus Venusaur, Venusaur wins in every even shield. But if Lickitung gets, I think it's three licks advantage, which I definitely had at one point, um, Lickitung wins. The problem is, I don't know how many licks I lost or how many free vine whips they got during that lag. So I'm really hoping that I'm still ahead of them by enough uh, to keep my advantage going here. So I'll shield. I want to be shielding just like them. I will take this to the two shield if they want to, because I've got Reggie Rock, right? Um, that's the goal. But instead, we're just going to win the one shield. We're going to win back switch. Um, Altaria is going to come in. And remember, this body slam is important as heck. Uh, Reggie Rock needs that little bit of extra damage to be able to take down the Altaria in one stone edge. And now that since we have that matchup, it should line up nicely. Usually whatever Altaria is paired with is not that great against Dragonite. Uh, but in this case, they've got the Frost last, so they help me out a little bit by switching. Allow my Regirock to line up there. I'll switch into my Dragonite to snipe down that Frost last before it gets to move. And then you can see Altaria is definitely ticking down Dragonite a little bit faster than Dragonite is ticking down Altaria, but uh, it doesn't matter in this game. I built up so much of an advantage that I should not be able to lose it. Yeah, after a pretty bad string of games there, we're able to string four in a row here, to salvage this set and go 4-1 for some pretty big gains. Um, still climbing up from Mother's Day uh, debacle where I dropped 200 points in an Ultra Leak. Just was very busy, but is what it is. Um, in this in this game, we have Drift Limb Lead. What I like to do here is go for the Dragon Claw right away. We see MP tie if they throw, so they'll have to shield. I'll trade a shield, right? This is in the effort of getting shields down for Regirock. And then I'll switch into Lickitung. Um, the advantage of staying in for a little bit too means that Lickitung can just lick all the way down. And in comes my, uh, my fa the fan favorite himself, Shadow Victory Bell. Everyone loves to see it. Unfortunately, this matchup is not for you, Shadow Victory Bell. Um, Lickitung actually wins the two shield versus Shadow Victory Bell, which is insane. Uh, they throw a move, and I realize, you know what? I don't need Switch here. I don't need Switch at all. And they tornado me. They don't even Leaf Blade me. So I'm going to live, get Switch, and Shield. And uh, the Drift Limb will have to throw energy to take out Lickitung. And Drift Limb is just going to be met with um, Regirock here. So they'll swap into Gengar. Very interesting double Ghost team with one of the Ghosts being lead. So an ABA team. Um... Yeah. I guess it's also an ABB team because it's double poison. So they're trying to bait out the Hypno uh, or something like that. I'm not sure. Very interesting team though, for sure. We're going to see a Cresselia lead here and it's Confusion. So I actually can't stay in that long. If it's Psycho Cut, I would love to stay in longer. Instead, I'm going to try and catch uh, a move on Lickitung. I don't think I caught it, but they did end up throwing it anyways. So we'll take that Moonblast. They're going to come with Vigoroth. Like I said, this is the worst possible switch in you can imagine. Yeah, Ugh, this matchup is so bad. Vigoroth double resisting licks, dealing super effective damage back to Lickitung. Um, these body slams hurt, but Vigoroth can get a full farm down. And th this Vigoroth could have actually farmed the whole way down too. I'm very lucky, very fortunate that they threw. Um, so Dragonite comes in, I'm gonna have to shield. And because I shielded, I decide I have to farm all the way down. What I really should have done was thrown the Dragon Claw right as I came in, forcing the CMP and uh, making them shield to, or else lose all their energy. Uh, but now I'm two shields down. And do you guys remember how it goes when Regirock is against a Pokemon with two shields? Doesn't go well. So uh, Dragonite's able to get some of these shields down. But uh, 
Uh, unfortunately, they have their own Lick and Tongue in the back, and I was not able to get both shields down. We're going to see how much damage Focus Blast does, though. Uh, very unlikely that they're going to shield their Lick and Tongue here. Um, I'm actually unsure if maybe going for two Stone Edges would have been better. The Focus Blast doesn't even KO. Lick and Tongue is that tanky. And, uh... Yeah, we will see. Actually, yeah, I wonder if two Focus Blast KO, or if two Stone Edges KO, I could have maybe gone triple Stone Edge. Uh, I would have said this Lickitung is barely going to beat uh, Dragonite to that move. And they still have a Cresselia anyways. So, tough game, for sure. This team definitely struggles against Lickitung itself. As it beats everything on this team except for Lickitung. Um, so, Mew lead. This is uh, pretty good for the entire team. We have Shadow Dragon Dragonair coming in. We know how this matchup plays out. And once again, they're throwing pretty early. So, another Aqua Tail. Um, unfortunately, CMP tied on this Body Slam. So, they let it through. And in comes Altaria. So, this is a bit of an unfortunate situation too. Uh, Mew is actually much better against Regirock than it is against Lickitung, depending on the moveset. So, because of that... Um, this match still is not going to be as easy as it might seem, especially because they're not shielding their Altaria here. They're really just, um, just charging up. I'm going to come with Regirock and try and get as much energy as possible. Uh, tank that Sky Attack. I'm going to tank another move because they farmed all the way down that Dragon Pulse. They had nearly 100 energy, um, but we're going to get to the Stone Edge and try and force this Mew to shield. And try and force this Mew, honestly, to throw energy. Um, but this Mew player really does not want to throw their energy. They're committed to farm Regirock all the way down is what I was scared of. So I got to go in with the Dragonite. We're going to shield up. What I believe to be a Surf, but it was a Flame Charge. And uh, hit it with a Dragon Claw, which is not going to be enough to take it out. Especially if... Okay, I was missing some bubbles there. Um, but Dragonite with two shields. Or Shadow Dragonite with two shields is very powerful. It's going to be able to take out that Mew. And that Altaria. Didn't even see the Altaria. That's how fast. That's how fast it was. Yep. This uh, this next game here, we have Meganium lead. This is pretty much as good of a lead as you could possibly want. Not really sure why people are running Meganium in Retro Cup. I don't think it's very good. Um, grass is much worse because of all the Ice types. And Ground type coverage isn't as useful because there's no Steel types. So Meganium is probably is, is very questionable. Like, why not run Superior instead? Um, is my question. Either way, uh, Marowak coming in, dealing some heavy damage to this Regirock. I don't mind. Ah, I CMP tied here. Bit of a poor decision making on my part instead of throwing at, at uh, good timing. And now Meganium is going to come in and have the opportunity to farm Regirock all the way down, um, which is what I was afraid of. And Frenzy Plants actually do hurt Dragonite quite a bit. But Regirock is going to be able to get to the second Stone Edge here. This Meganium player is counting though. They know the counts. They throw the Frenzy Plant and come back with Dragonite. They're going to throw their second Frenzy Plant. And yeah, you can see how much damage that does. You don't want to be taking two of them. In comes Jellicent. We're going to try and catch a move. But uh, no dice. And this is going to be an Ice Beam since they're charging up so much. And we've seen how this matchup plays before. I don't need to throw a move. I do have a Power Whip, but... Why not just lick all the way down? If it's if it's running bubble, you might have some more issues. But if it's running hex, there's no issues at all. Uh, the other things we don't want this Meganium to be able to farm all the way down. Um, but we do have three body slams, I believe. So there's no way this Meganium is going to survive that uh, that assault. Imagine just getting bounced on by a lick a tongue three times. Very scary. That's nightmare fuel, right there. Metacham lead. This is where you want to see it for sure with this team not be surprised to see them switch out and once again it's a jellicent bubble jellicent so i don't mind staying in for a little bit with dragonite we're gonna switch and catch um but it looks like they're actually running bubble beam on this one so just get your seatbelts on folks it's gonna be a long ride uh in this middle match up here there's lots of opportunities to switch out but with metacham um lurking in the back i can't switch into regirock uh, it's going to give the Metacham way too much energy, and Regirock doesn't pressure it. All its moves are resisted. Lickitung is kind of the backline answer to Metacham. So if I switch out of Lickitung uh, to, cl to clear debuffs, 
then something else can come into the Dragonite. There's just no way I can switch out here. Um, instead, I'm going to have to be forced to throw quadruple debuffed body slams into this Metacham. And that did no damage. It looks like Metacham is a chancy. Oh my god. Body slam is a very powerful move too with a stab, same type of attack bonus, and it's just tickling this Metacham. But um, they do add up. We still do have two shields up. We have a Dragon Claw ready. Don't mind shielding whatever they throw. It's likely Ice Punch anyways. Get this Dragon Claw off. Hopefully they just let it go. And in comes Crustle. So this game is not over. Rock does not resist Rock. So these Smackdowns add up versus Regirock. And uh, Retrock does like vastly outpace Crustle, but Crustle's two shields, Retrock only has one. So they played the game very well, uh, keeping two shields for their Crustle in the back. Whereas um, Regirock doesn't like it when they have two shields up. So their, their overall, overall game plan is going the way they want. They bait me correctly with the X-Scissor, which allows them to get to the Smackdown. Great bait here, uh, sorry, to the Rock Slide, but it doesn't matter. Dragonite is just a little bit ahead. We're gonna be able to get to that Dragon Claw. As long as they're not at the move right now, these couple Dragon Brush to be able to take it down before the next Smackdown takes effect. So, able to win that too. And I think that's it for the games. We climbed all the way back into Legend, uh, I think with this, yeah. I mean, there's there's definitely much more to climb for sure. Um, but this is my first take on Retro. Uh, sorry, it's not that accessible. The next team should be much more accessible. It's just, it seems like if you do have a Lickitung, ah, it's... <laughs> It's like when, it's that saying, right? When when you're a hammer, everything starts to look like a nail. So when you have a lick -a tongue everything starts to look like a lick -a tongue team. It just really does fit that well on almost every team in retro. Uh, so you will definitely see more lick -a tongue teams in the future, but this is the next one hopefully will not be a lick -a tongue team um, to get some teams rolling for those of you who don't have one yet. Um, but as usual, I will put my uh, socials in the description. If you wanna follow me on Twitter, it's there. Discord is there. Uh, my Patreon is there uh, if you want to support me. Um, if not, that is okay too. But as always, if you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around and watching.